So we talked about how you can perform the Bluetooth attack in another video prior to this. And I'm also going to talk about how you can protect against this type of attack. So whenever you go to an airport, for example, and this is probably the most isolated example I can give you, you're going to put your phone on airplane mode, right? And when you put your phone on airplane mode, in some occasions, and most of them actually, the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi is still active. For you basically need to go into your iPhone or your phone and disable the Bluetooth also. Now on the iPhone, it's pretty easy. You're gonna go to the settings and in the settings, you will see that this thing called Bluetooth. You need to pick that. And then you basically need to turn that off so it's no longer green. That is what you need to do when you go into airplane mode. Always remember, whenever you have your handheld device with you, whether this is an actual iPhone, an iPad, a laptop, something like that, if the wireless connection antenna is active and it can receive signals, it can be attacked. So the type of attack we're talking about here is called the bleed spam or the Bluetooth spam. So in some occasions, it can crash your phone, crash your iPad, it can crash your computer in some occasions also, but that's probably pretty rare. Haven't really heard about the computer crashing, but I have heard about some very interesting um, lacking stuff going on, on on PCs, but it's very rare and I don't really think this is an actual issue. It is more like the phone that's an issue because the phones today are very important devices for people, businessmen, gonna go and head and use the phone as the everyday device. If they cannot use that because of it's being attacked by some sort of Bluetooth spam from, for example, a small Flipper Zero, which just receives an upgrade with, you know, a month lifetime in, you know, hibernation mode. So you can basically have it in your bag and just use it for a brief mode amount amount of time to make a lot of phones inoperable. And basically, some phones will crash if they have the wrong, well, the, a specific type of OS operating system installed on it. I would say that I think it was iOS 17, if I'm not mistaken, that actually make the phone crash. Then you would need to, you know, restart the phone. And that's just a lot of, you know, troubles go through. You can just dis disable Bluetooth on your phone and you're good to go. You can use it. And basically that's the way to go. So for this video, I'm going to end it short and say, remember to disable Bluetooth and Wi-Fi whenever you're going to go around. If you have a phone and you need to have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi enabled, well, that's just the way it is because it is a service we need to use sometimes. If you have some iPods, iPads, you know, stuff, you need to share stuff, or you got some, you know, uh, wireless uh, here, something like that, well, basically you need to have the Bluetooth enabled in order to use it. I understand that. But just remember that if you are detecting this kind of attack, just go ahead and disable your Bluetooth and you probably should be good to go. See you out there and have a really nice day. Thank you.